Oh, yeah. Could you go? Yep. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I want to uh, introduce you to Joshua Cohen and Justin Klee. They are the co-founders and CEOs of Amelix Pharmaceuticals, one of our sponsors. Hi, everyone. Thank you very much. So we just wanted to briefly share a bit about our company, what we've been up to and what to look forward to. So Josh and I started Amelix in 2013 with the mission of improving people's lives who are living with neurodegenerative diseases like ALS. We had a bit of an atypical founding. We started in a dorm room. And at the time, we really knew nothing except for that. We thought we had a good idea and we thought that it needed to get to people to see if this could be something that could help them. Along the way, we were helped by many, many advisors, uh, in particular, uh, Dr. Merit Zikovic at Mass General Hospital, pictured here, uh, helped uh, usher us into ALS and to run uh, a clinical trial. That being said, while our days of being a really small company in a dorm room are over, we're still small enough to fit on a single Zoom screen, which in today's age is very helpful. That being said, we like being a small company because we think it means that we can really uh, look for what people need and uh, hope to uh, not just be a, a big company who's developing a drug, but a company who can really change the whole care and the whole way that we view ALS and ALS treatment. So as a small company, we needed a lot of help to do a really high quality clinical trial. And we were really lucky that our you know, clinical trial was done both um, supported by a grant from the ALS Association and the ALS Finding a Cure Foundation, um, and also supported by NEALS, um, which is a group who have worked to standardize and make um, you know, excellence in clinical trials for ALS. And also to all the participants, um, caregivers, um, family members who participated in the trial and helped make it um, a success. And also pictured here are the many um, sites, clinical centers that worked um, day in and out to you know, really, really hard on this trial to try to get, you know, to try to show whether this drug could could help people with ALS. So we'll be releasing the full data uh, at this point within a matter of days. Um, and the exciting thing is our trial met its primary outcome, showing a statistically significant slowing uh, or re longer retention of function in, in people who were receiving the drug versus receiving a placebo. Um, the drug was also generally safe and well tolerated. That's detailed in the in the paper that will that will be uh, published very very soon, um, and we're you know incredibly excited to share that with the whole community. So um, lots of exciting things coming up, and you know given these results, it puts a lot of pressure and responsibility on us to get this drug forward as fast as humanly possible, and we're working day in and out to achieve just that. Um, so if there are any questions, we're we're happy to answer those or um, to go, go through anything else um, people are interested in. Thank you. Well, I think uh, in this case, I know we're on a break, so we'll let everybody get back to their break. But uh, just last words, uh, we're so thrilled to be able, oh, we do have one question. Uh, we, uh, I just wanted to say though, that we are so incredibly thrilled to be able to support this wonderful event that brings great information on treatments, new research, care, as well as brings the community together. So it's really our honor to be able to support it. So we have a question. When do you expect to be available in the market? And can you provide any further details about Amlix? So in terms of available in the market, I think the first thing for us to do is to publish the results. As Josh said, it's a matter of days until those results are published. Uh, in terms of next steps, we're working very closely with the FDA uh, to figure out how do we get that to people as fast as possible. Uh, we know people have no time to wait. 
uh, it's uh, agonizing that it's taken this long to publish the results and since uh, announcing in December. And uh, for those of you who've been waiting, we sincerely apologize. It's uh, between COVID and journal review times. It unfortunately can take a very long time. Uh, but that being said, we're here. And in terms of next steps, we'll keep everybody very closely updated as we work with the FDA. Uh, in terms of further details about Amelix, uh, certainly. So, uh, so we're still a small company, as I said, we, we still fit on a single Zoom screen. Uh, we're based in uh, uh, Cambridge, uh, Massachusetts, and uh, our uh, sole focus is uh, neurodegenerative diseases, uh, particularly ALS. Uh, we, uh, as a small company, like to partner with every organization possible. Uh, and especially those who we feel like are really advancing the same missions we have. Uh, the ALS Association is top of that list, who have been supporting us since the very early days, including in the Centaur clinical trial. Uh, and as I said, we uh, plan to be around for a long time. Uh, we feel ALS really needs new treatments, needs new uh, care, and uh, we want to be a, a partner to everyone to do that. Uh, and I see the next question is, um, where will where will we, we be able to see these results when they're published? Um, so we'll certainly um, put the uh, results out on, you know, website, social media, everything like that. Um, you know, the journal will also hopefully make that broadly available. Um, so we'll, we'll, you know, certainly be posting through every every channel we have. Um, and I imagine many of our, of our partners and people we work with will be sharing those as well. Um, so hopefully they'll be very, very broadly available. See, the next question is, what was the drug studied? Uh, so the drug uh, is a, a combination of two small molecules uh, uh, that uh, target the underlying uh, neurodegeneration that, uh, that ultimately causes uh, what we see in ALS. Uh, so the two molecules are uh, sodium phenylbutyrate and terosidiol, uh, which we uh, combined and uh, formulated into a uh, so that we could have a uh, appropriate uh, dose. Uh, and uh, although the, the taste is not great, a, a relatively easy to take uh, drug. And uh, the uh, results, as we said, uh, we think are quite encouraging and uh, we'll be uh, publishing them very soon. And I'd also encourage uh, as the results come out, uh, please reach out to us uh, through our social media channels or website or however else. Uh, we're, we're here to try to be as transparent as possible. We wanna be able to answer everyone's questions uh, and uh, we wanna know how we're doing and if we can do better. So please continue to reach out. All right, well, thank you all so much. Uh, as we said, it's really an honor to get to share today and to get to support such a wonderful event. Uh, we, uh, you, we, there's quite a lineup uh, still coming up. Uh, so we hope you all enjoy. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.